post-colonial space. This is Masood Raja and today I'm going to talk about the first in my series of lectures on nationalism, national identity, nation-state theories and I'll be briefly talking about Ibn Khaldun, the 14th century Tunisian Arab historian, historiographer, sociologist and one of his most significant concepts al asadiya which in my opinion is one of the earliest definitions of nationalism or what would later come to be called as national sentiment. So Ibn Khaldun introduces the concept of al asadiya in his uh, introduction to his work of history which is called Kitab al-Ibar and the first introduction of it is called Al-Muqaddimah which has become a classical Arabic work in its own right. The best translation is available by uh, Franz Ros Rosenthal which is a three volume translation and in Al-Muqaddimah what Ibn Khaldun is trying to explain is how do civilizations rise and fall and to explain that he uses the term al asabiya which could be translated as cohesion, solidarity, group identity but what he means by that is that in the early stages of their development when societies emerge they have this feeling, this collective sentiment which he names al asabiya which brings them together which builds their ties, which connects their interests and their emotional and symbolic unity provides them that. And it is this sentiment that forces a people to fight for their place in the world, to actually go and try to seize territory or capture territory and build a community, a political and a society over there. And that what happens is that in the early stages of al Sabia, societies are usually nomadic and then they develop on the fringes of an already established civilization, an already established dynasty which he would call it and then slowly because of the Asabiya they can come together and they can literally start attacking and conquering this larger civilization on whose fringes they exist. And he uses the example of the Muslim empires, first themselves rising from the desert and taking over, you know, the Eastern Roman Empire and Achaemenian Iranian Empire, but then the rise of the desert tribes against the settled areas of the Muslim world. So his view of history is cyclical. A civilization rises, the early Asabiya gives it the power and the energy to rise and conquer a larger civilization as it settles down, becomes sedentary, develops culture, high art. It is far removed from the driving force, the Asabiya that brought it to power and that is the time when some other group with a powerful Asabiya emerges on the margins of that civilization and then eventually supplants it. So that's his cyclical view of history which you will see Toynbee also eventually follows the idea of the historical pendulum of course comes from Ibn Khaldun slightly modified by Arnold Toynbee in his study of history. So al asabiya in the theories of nationalism then has been used or can be used as a concept that tries to define what later people like Renan and others would call the national sentiment, the cohesion, the solidarity of a group, maybe primordial, but also maybe other people can join the group as well. And in one way or the other, we see this form in many nationalist movement of the movements of the 19th century and even before that. Now in the modern uses, usage, the word asabiya has a very negative, con negative connotation in Arabic, in other languages, in Urdu for example, 
we translated uh, laid it as asbiyat and uh, which literally means prejudice and uh, there are other derivative words from it too uh, for example taasub to be to have prejudice mutaasub someone who is prejudiced so in the modern uses usage it does not necessarily have the same positive uh, connotations that ibn khaldun meant in his work but reading it within the context of uh, uh, ibn khaldun's work al asabiya could very well be one of the earliest terms that captures the idea of a nationalistic sentiment or a national sentiment may be not connected to nation states but connected to dynasties and empires and there are more resources on it on the web i will post some links to the description and i hope this explains the concept a little bit and i will of course be coming back with more videos of this kind if you have any questions any concerns please post them uh, at the bottom and if you like what's being produced in these videos I, i'll be grateful if you could subscribe and pass the word around to others thank you so much for joining me and just like always today peace and love to you all thank you